Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at Sterling, the owner of the Rusty's Racing Center from Cars 3. So before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So Sterling is a gray 1966 BMW 200CS who was a business car eh, voiced by Nathan Fillon eh, once knew Sir Miles Axelrod from Cars 2 eh, and was the for and is the former owner of Rusty's in the Rusty's Racing Center. In February of 2017 he bought Rusty's from Rusty and Dusty, the Rusty's brothers, who were planning to and planning to retire in order for Lightning McQueen to try something new in order to beat the next-gen rookies. And Sterling stated that he is a fan of Lightning's future. And, and showed him portrait pictures and information of his mentor of his late mentor the fabulous Doc Hudson Hornet and, and showed him a piece of asphalt from Glen Ellen Speedway the racetrack where Lightning won his first victory back in 2005 and and at the Training Center. He introduced Sterling introduced Lightning to Cruiser Ramirez, and af after an incident on the simulator, Sterling Sterling stated that they will be that Lightning will be the biggest brand in the history of racing, and they will be rich. You know, rich and famous which means that that lightning's racing career was coming to an end then lightning made a deal if he wins he decides when he's done and if he loses they he'll sell all the mud flaps so the when the deal was done sterling led Cruz train lightning lightning anywhere and And in another scene, during an episode of Chick's Picks with Chick Hicks, Sterling was interviewed by the press saying that light, light, Lightning's gonna race, just he's just taking it somewhat unconventional. And at the Florida 500 at Florida International Speedway, Sterling ordered Cruise back to the training center to prepare the next rookie to re for next week's race to replace Lightning, which instead of Kurt, because he was the bug due to the fact that he was the, that he's the bug guy, he chose Ronald. And after a crash, Lightning ordered Cruise to return to the pits. And, and while Cruz, and while Lightning. And while Luigi Guido were changing Cruz's tires and Ramon giving her a, a new coat of paint, Sterling was concerned that Cruz would damage the brand and said that he was just a trainer. Smokey, Smokey told him that the rules only say the number has to be out there instead of who has to wear it. And Sterling tried to... And Sterling tried to uh, prevent Cruz from racing, but ended up being distracted by Mater. And after winning, and after winning the race, Sterling, Sterling was impressed with Cruz and said that that she'll race for him. But then, but Cruz objected, and when then Tex Dynaco, the owner of Dynaco, showed up. Along with Strip the King Weathers and his nephew Cal Weathers, there's and offered Cruz the Dynaco team to replace Cal Weathers, 
and Sterling and Tex even then bought Rusty's from Sterling. Whatever happened to Sterling? And gave Sterling a Texas size offer. So whatever ha whatever happened to Sterling after Tex bought Rusty's? Who knows? What do you got? What do you guys think? What happened to Sterling after Tex bought Rusty's from him? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. So, so anyhow, without further any further ado, let's get right into the review. Here we've got his friendly facial expression. Although, although he, even though he's a villain, his chrome gray paint job and his headlights and the and a sterling logo and no tampons on the hood just the side view mirrors and and on the left side we've got the chrome silver rims on his black wall tires and the his name and, and on the back side we've got the tail lights and his the exhaust pipe and his license plate saying sterling illinois which he comes from illinois and his name on his trunk and on the right side, similar design, but completely different. And that is it. Now, Sterling was released in 20, first released in 2017 in a two-pack with regular cruiser with cruiser mirrors, and as a single. And now let's compare it to the other BMW vehicles. We've got Mike, who is a three-wheel BMW Isetta. And now let's pull. A and now, and his fellow wealthy business car, Sir Miles Axelrod, which he knew before, and some of the other Rusty's Racing Center members. We've got Lightning McQueen, Cruiser Mirrors, Rusty and Dusty, the Rusty's brothers, although those five were released in a five pack, in a dot com five pack, with that have been released a few times since 2017. And finally, Mac, a aka Cars 3 Mac, Caller. And that is it, the whole Rusty's Racing Center team. So, what do you guys think? Which BMW vehicle is your favorite? Which business car is your favorite? And which Rusty's Racing Center team member is your favorite? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Also, check out my other videos and please consider the support by subscribing and viewing my channel for viewing and subscribing. I would really appreciate it very much. And I hope to see you guys next. And also, please make don't forget to make a suggestion of which car of the past from the car collection video should I review next in the comments down below. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review. So please stay tuned. Goodbye now.